But everything was supposed to save us. All these things that they were gonna develop were gonna save us. Technology was gonna save us. Technology is it's just as good as the people that, that, that run it. Like the computer age. How is that really this unbelievable advance? That blows my mind how they've done that to us. They've marketed this internet and computers as though it's an incredible breakthrough in the way people communicate. Dude, imagine a world or the touch of a button, you can communicate instantly with someone from a different culture 2,000 miles away. You mean like a phone? <laughs> yeah, like a phone. <laughs> they have all these commercials for the internet that make it sound like this unbelievably exciting adventure. Surf the internet, ride the web into cyberspace. <laughs> <laughs> Because what are they going to say? Sit on your ass and type. <laughs> Microsoft has that commercial. Where do you want to go today? Uh, outside? <laughs> and you know when they had us? They had us at Y2K. That's when they had us. That's when they fucking hooked us in and made us believe that technology was something we could not live without, and in fact, could destroy us if it wasn't there. Remember New Year's Eve, 2000? That countdown? Five, four, three. I love you, buddy. Y2K. What were we afraid was gonna happen? Perhaps December 12th. In the year 2000, at the stroke of midnight, all of the computers will fail and we'll be forced to live like we did in 1981. <laughs> no! I can't be hungry like the wolf anymore. <laughs> I can't do it. I succumb. I got a computer. I got a, a Macintosh, Apple uh, thing. With a... Oh, there's always some graphic designers in the crowd. Macintosh, poor bastards. <laughs> There's nothing for us when you buy a Mac. You got nothing. You go to the store, they don't even, there's always like one shelf. Whenever you go to like a PC store to buy shit, PC software is so unbelievably advanced. They got this stuff, you can sit and learn how to be a fighter pilot or create your own world. Create a world and you can be king. <laughs> you ever ask if they got Mac stuff? And you guys carry Apple stuff? Oh yeah, absolutely. Igor. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the labyrinth. <laughs> Look, new software. Learn to spell to music. <laughs> so I get a, I get a computer because I, I quite frankly I like to play the games. I like to play the, uh, the game where you walk around and you find weapons that don't exist and blow up aliens. That happens to be what I like to do. Because I have a, a child and a wife and I want them to be mad at me. <laughs> so at four in the morning I just sit. <laughs> so I go in and get a new computer. It's about, I don't know, six months or whatever because I want to upgrade the thing. And I don't really care about all the features and the mega watt per RAM shit. Just, I'm an old man, help me. <laughs> so the guy comes up, you know, the Apple guy, 17, went to DeVry for six months, so I'm his bitch, you know. So, he comes up. Yeah, man, we got the new G4 silver platinum gigabyte. <laughs> and he hits me with a sales pitch like I've never heard before. Dude, this has the computing power that they use to launch the space shuttle. Oh, that's good because I have a shuttle at home. <laughs> but my shuttle just sits there. I can't go. I just. I, 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 so I buy this, you know, G4 Giga computer thing. Put my game in. <laughs> Great, works great. Can't believe how fast it is. The graphics actually look like the graphics. The whole thing is fucking great. Three months later, new game comes out. 
apparently with some space age fucking software in it, <laughs> that my computer has no idea what the hell's going on. <laughs> now, if you were a piece of technology that had the computing power to launch a space shuttle, which I believe is a relatively life and death kind of mission, and someone put a game in you that you didn't recognize, would you try and interface with your user to create some sort of uh, logic plane that we could go through to possibly identify the problem and perhaps take a corrective measure that would allow us to get the upgrade that was necessary to further run the software, or would you fucking freeze? <laughs> Is he still out there? <laughs> yeah. What's he doing? <laughs> Looks like he's rubbing his balls on your keyboard. <laughs> Fuck him, I'll wait him out. <laughs> Nothing. So I unplug it. Plug it back in. Now it's got a message for me. Shh, shh. You didn't shut me down properly, are you? Are you fucking retarded? What? I don't understand. <laughs> Put it back in there, free. So I take it back to the store. Now, I've had this thing five months. It's been five months. I walk back in the store of the G4. You'd have thought I walked in there with a Civil War musket. <laughs> They're literally coming out of the back. Oh shit, that's the old G4! Hey everybody! How in four months did I go from being on the cutting edge of technology to being Amish? How the fuck does that happen? <laughs> It's the stuff they're working on. What are they working on? Cloning. <coughs> Cloning? Are you shitting me? Cloning? There's six billion people in the world. <laughs> Fucking is working. There's <laughs> really a guy in a lab going, hey, I just figured out how to make people. <laughs> Is that really all science has to work on? Sit around? They spend billions of dollars trying to clone sheep. Billions of dollars to make sheep look alike. <laughs> hey, dickhead, they already look alike. That's why we count them when we're going to sleep. If they didn't, that wouldn't work. One, two, oh shit. <laughs> That one has a unibrow. <laughs> For everything that they're working on in science over the past 50 years, they can't cure cancer, they can't cure AIDS, but somehow they figured out a way to keep old people with hard-ons. <laughs> That's all they seem to be working on. Viagra, Levitra, Cialis. By the way, those commercials have the most obvious warning I have ever heard on a medicine. If you have an erection for longer than four hours, call somebody. <laughs> really? Okay. We must attack them 